Well, Beyond and Impossible Meat are gaining popularity in the food world. Yes, and you don't have to be a vegetarian to cook with these. Chef and author Ramin Ganeshram is joining us now with some of the recipes in her new cookbook, Cooking with Beyond and Impossible Meat. Thank you so much for being with us, I, I, especially, I think, during the pandemic. I know my brother is not a cook. He just started grilling Beyond Burgers every day because that was all he could make. And he, now he really likes them. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. And yes, your brother's experience is very indicative of a lot of people. They they sort of they try it and then they think, wait a second, these are actually really good. I, I would eat them just to eat them, not necessarily to substitute. So what's in the cookbook? Are we going to be learning how to make all different kinds of things with the you know with the, with the Beyond Burgers or different things like that? Exactly. So the cookbook has um, 60 or a little bit over 60 recipes. And the way I constructed it was to cut, to look at the world cuisine that already uses ground meat. So ground meat is used all over the world, whether it's lamb or beef or chicken. And so there are thousands of recipes with ground meat. So I tried to take um, the, not only to say the best of, the things that might be most familiar to people from an international cuisine and include a little bit of everything. Yeah, so give us some examples. What, uh, how can we learn to cook with this? So I think some really good examples that are coming up um, for people in the summer that they could use is there are recipes for kebabs. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with ground meat kebabs. They might have had them in a Middle Eastern restaurant or an Indian restaurant. So there are several types of kebabs. There's five different types of meatloaf. I, you know, I think people can really um, be very uh, easy with that because that's something we all understand. Of course, there are burgers, but there's also sloppy joes, for example. Um, anyone who likes Caribbean or Jamaican beef patties will find a recipe for that in there. So there's something for everybody, really. How did you go from journalism to cookbook? I'm, I'm fascinated by your career path. <laughs> Well, thanks for asking. A lot of people ask that. So I was a hard news reporter. Um, I worked for major newspapers. And, you know, 25 years ago, it wasn't a thing where um, serious journalists could write about food. So I always did it on the side. Um, and then eventually I kind of said, you know, this is what I want to do. And I went to culinary school to become a chef, to become a better food writer. Um, and it kind of took on, it took off from there. Back in those days, there weren't journalists who were also chefs. So I was really lucky. I kind of got all the assignments and it, it just, that was it. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. And it, it, you are, you're local, right? You're a Connecticut gal. I am. I'm, I live in Westport, Connecticut, and um, I'm actually from New York City. Excellent. I live in Westport, all right, so I, you know, I did a story recently on, it's called the Riley Farm Rescue, and they take on all of these farm animals and they give them a, a refuge and they, they never get killed. And from doing that story, I've been kind of switching my mind, like I want to get out of the meat game and get more into this Beyond Burger and things like that. Do you find that more people are starting to go this way or there's just a, a much more of an interest these days? Absolutely. I mean, these products are multi-million, if not approaching billion dollar industries because people are so interested now. And a lot of people have the same story you do. You know, they interact with farm animals and they understand, you know, this is a living creature. And, you know, they may not necessarily want to see that creature killed, you know, so for their own gain. Right. And then there are those who simply want to eat a little bit more healthfully mm. and they feel they can't jump right into vegetarian or vegan cuisine. And this is a transition point. But many people tell me what you've just what you've just said. Cool. All right. Well, this is uh, this is a book that can help. So you don't just have to take out the Beyond Burger and just grill it. A little exactly. more creativity. You've got <laughs> it's the cookbook. It's right. called Cooking with Beyond and Impossible Meat. 60 vegan recipes using plant based substitutions. And this goes on sale tomorrow. Congratulations. Congratulations.